Your case has a glaring weakness. Should you address it during closing arguments at your trial? You want to learn the answer? Come join me. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. The answer is you must absolutely address those weaknesses during the course of your summation. Now, what does that mean? I've told you in another video that it is critical to address your weaknesses on opening arguments. If you don't, the defense attorney is going to tear you apart and make your credibility out to be nothing, to be dirt, for failing to include that weakness in your case. Now, you cannot ignore that on closing argument. Here's an example. If my client was arrested and convicted of a crime 10 years ago, for example, and then was in jail for a few years and now has brought a lawsuit seeking compensation for medical malpractice, during closing arguments, I will certainly mention it and discuss it and remind the jurors that the fact that this gentleman was arrested, was convicted, and then did his time and service to society for the time for the crime that he committed, I will certainly bring that up. But I will be very, very clear in pointing out that that event had absolutely nothing to do with the improper care and treatment he may have received at the hands of this particular doctor that he's bringing a claim against. And it is critical to address those claims. You know why? Because the defense certainly will. And they will do that and they will have an opportunity to do that on closing remarks before I have a chance to do that. Do you know why? Well, in New York, in civil cases, the defense at the end of the case goes first in giving their closing remarks. We actually get the last word. So now we can actually address some of the concerns and comments that they've made. But importantly, it is critical to address the weakness in your case. If you don't, you can't ignore the big elephant in the room. It simply doesn't help you. You have to address it head on, attack it, and then explain to the jury that it's got nothing to do with this particular case. The jury has to focus on the key issues in the case. And that's what we would call a red herring, something having nothing to do with the case, but the defense will make a big argument of it during closing remarks. So why do I tell you this? I tell you this to give you an insight and an understanding into how the legal process works in civil cases involving accidents, negligence claims, and wrongful death here in the state of New York. Chances are you have questions and concerns about your particular matter. And if you do, what I want you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I welcome your call. I answer questions like yours every single day. And you can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks so much for watching.